<clears throat> Good evening. Good evening, good evening, Gabriela, Elena, Magdalena. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Hello, hello. Aristides. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, good teacher. evening teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. You can see Dalila there and also Maria Magdalena. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Grisha is trying to get into the class. Okay, Aristides is there. I can see you. Thanks for activating your camera. <clears throat> Let us wait a little bit. And meanwhile, the rest of the people gather, let me know what you've learned tonight or today in English. <laughs> Remember that every single time you get into the class, I will ask you about a phrase, a quote, a phrase, a verb, uh, uh, an interesting um, a phrase or a story, or I don't know, but you, you just let me know about something you you you've learned recently. Okay, that's- For me, teacher, it uh -huh. is day I learn a phrase. Ah, what is that phrase, uh, Magdalena? Uh, you only fail when you stop trying. You only fail when you, you stop trying. You only fail when you stop trying. Okay, wow, that's deeply, right? It, that is uh, it's deeply and also it is very motivating, right? Sometimes we go through different uh, situations, sometimes hard situations, sometimes situations we think we are, we are not able to deal with, but I really like that quote, Magdalena. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, anybody else? Me. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. So it's it's a phrase, a story. The phrase. Uh, uh -huh. uh, the power of imagination make us infinite. The power of imag imagination make us make us infinite. 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 That's right. Wow, just because we can imagine a lot of things, right? Our mind is so powerful that we can think about the way another planet is. And if we can if we can imagine it uh, somewhere in, in our mind, it, it, so something in our mind has been created. Right? We can we can we can travel through our mind, we can close our mm -hmm. eyes and think about mm -hmm. that person we love like. uh -huh, near or far and then you can start imagine about how wonderful time you have you have gone through with the person or whatever right but imagination is a great tool thank you for <laughs> yes. like, especially when we feel sad mm -hmm. Okay, anyone, anybody else, quote, phrase, uh, situation, story, something that you studied before getting into the class? Me. Thank you, Gabriela. Okay. I was listening uh, to songs in English to English and I remember one liquid um you can try but you'll never forget her her name you can try but you'll never forget her name wow you can try but you can't never forget her name 
Ok. Forget Net. Ok. That's a song, right? The lyrics of a song. Ok, good. Now, who's missing? Aristides, Lourdes. No, Lourdes already participated. Cesar, Crisia, Idalia, and the rest. Uh huh. Um, okay. Ah, Elena, go ahead, Elena. <laughs> yeah, it's a idiom. It's an idiom. For example, um, out of a student, the meaning is de repente. Okay. Uh, for example, out of a student, it became, became cloudy and began to rain. Wow. Okay, all of a sudden, right? It became dark and it started to rain. Okay, yes. thank you. Elena, anybody else? No, no, no new phrases, no more participation. Well, I have 16 people and we I will start checking the list of attendance that we're gonna go over the, the midterm. Which is like the the midterm is the one that we're gonna go and study a little bit. All right, list attendance. Very quickly, people. Tonight is October the 5th, right? Okay, Alejandra. Aristides, Pero. Carlos David, present. present teacher, Cesar, present teacher, Claudia Margarita, present teacher, El Urdes, present teacher, Dalila, present teacher, Elena Marisol, present, Gabriela Noemi, Present teacher. Idalia. Present teacher. Ileana. Janet. Ingrid. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Crisia Morena. Present. Liliana Dolores. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present teacher. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Good. Thanks. That's really nice. Okay. So there are some people who haven't shown up yet, but I'm hopefully at the end they're gonna be able to get into the class. Well, we're gonna start. Remember, we're gonna work in the midterm, so I highly recommend you to open the 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 platform so that we can we can see the same information, right? And if you haven't finished, and then tonight we're gonna finish with it. Besides that, well. We're going we're gonna to try to um, develop certain exercises in a, in a way in which you, you haven't done it yet. So the first part, you know, this is the midterm, people. Okay, this is the midterm exam. There is a listen, you know, the midterm is divided in different different sections. So for example, over here we're gonna we're gonna have a listening, we're gonna 
go over uh, exercises about the past tense, vocabulary, used to, uh, were ordered, and indirect questions, and, and at the end, we're gonna have a reading comprehension. Well, we're going to start with the listening. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, more than ready. Right? Yeah. So now, yes, I won't commit the same mistake again. Okay, so it says instructions. Listen to the conversation. Check the correct answer. Okay, you have Tom grew up in in San Francisco, Japan, or San Diego. Carol used to collect old photos, read comic books, or watch mysteries. According to Helen, there is too much traffic. is not enough parking downtown, adding enough houses. Anna can join the carpool by riding to work with Steve, asking a neighbor for a ride, calling a phone number. Okay, so let's let's listen, please. Let's pay attention to the audio. Units one to two quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything. But now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. All right, so let's see what do we have here. The information about Tom. What do you remember about Tom, people? San Francisco. San Francisco. Tom. San Francisco. Yeah, but uh, Tom grew up in grew up. San Francisco. In San Francisco. What about Carol? What can you tell me about Carol? Carol just read, read comic book. Read comic book. Read comic book. She used to read comic books. According to Helen, there isn't enough is parking downtown. Enough parking downtown. Isn't uh, enough? Isn't enough downtown? Uh, isn't enough. 
parking okay. downtown. Yeah. Okay, so do me the favor to check it. It's missing one. Oh, we're missing one. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a, no. But the answer is there now, right? So Anna can join the carpool by calling a phone number. number. Sorry, that was my mistake. Calling a phone number. Okay, calling a phone number. Well, isn't enough parking? Good. Read comic books. Hey, wow, great job. Hey, we're going to get back at the end with this listening because I I, I need to have a, a different activity with the same. Now, we're going to go over the past tense. Now, what do you remember about past people? Past tense. What, how do you conjugate the past tense of the verb P? Where, where you born? Where you born? Where you born? Where, where were you born? Where, where, where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Number two, instructions. Complete mm -hmm. the conversation, use the past tense. And make sure not to use, not to use or use capital letters when necessary. And I hear did in high school. No, he didn't study study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Mm -hmm. How do you complete this? Did he, he study French? He study. Hey, did he? Did he, did he study? He, he study. French. Yes, so the French high school. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Number three. Complete the conversation, conversation use the past tense and, and make sure to not use or use capital letters when necessary. Yeah. When from college. They graduated from college in twenty in twenty ten. Did they graduate when when, when did when did graduate when did they graduate they graduate graduate hey when did they graduate okay let us check from the beginning we have. Hey, where were you born? Good. Number two, did he study? Did he study French or he studied French? Did he study French? Good. It's okay. Number three, when did they graduate? When, when did they graduate? Did that, uh, <laughs> now, something over here that's they're providing like further information is about when forming questions in the past, use the following formula. Double H question word. Oh. Yeah. Did were in the present the and present. a complement. So that's that simple past. You know that's a question in past. Now any question about it? No. No, no right. Very easy. Well, let's go over the next. If this is about vocabulary. Every summer, Sam used to go to that with his friends. Where did she go? The where did she? Where did he? It's because Sam, right? He used to go. Beach, beach, beach. Ah, uh, Henry is participating okay. through using the the chat. Every sum, every sum, every summer, Sam used, used to, to go, go to the to the beach. To the, the beach. beach. Okay, we have beach. Beach. I really enjoy playing bicycles. Yes. Chess. Chess. When I was a teenager, Ed had some unusual pets, including rabbit and a snake. 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 
Arsenic. Arsenic. Let's see. A snake, chess, beach, fish, and that's it, right? Thank you, Ingrid. Ingrid is participating in the in the in the chat. Now, let's continue. Let's move on. Now we're gonna have a, an activity that we're gonna work by using just two. There are certain certain rules that we learned in the in the class and now it's time to put them into practice you have an example over here play yeah. basketball when we when you were in high school did you, you to play basketball when you were in high school uh -huh. did you used to play basketball when you were in high school that is the one um used to We have uh, some instructions. Did you play soccer when you were a child? Uh, did you play? Did you play? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Only did you, right? Did you play soccer when you were a child? Okay. B, yes, I play soccer every day after school. Used to I was. Yes. Yes. I was play. Yes, I was play soccer. Yes, I used to play soccer. Ah, okay. Uh, yes, to play to play soccer. soccer. Uh, okay, uh, it's only play, right? Yes, I uh, yeah. used to. Yeah, yes, I, I used to. to, and only used to. I right? used to. I used to play soccer. Every only day. used to. Only La used to. That's right. Ah, uh, in the first one. La primera, do used to? The, oh, okay, that's right. Do you used to? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dalila, very good. Now, in what things collect? In what things do you use to collect? In what things do you use to do you used to use collect, right? Use. Ah, okay. Sin a de, sin a de. Okay. And what things did you use to collect? Collect. Okay, we're going to see it at the end. Oh, I never anything when I was a kid, but now I collect postcards. Collected. 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 Oh, I never collected. 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 And that's it. The third one is collected. Good. Over here, number three. Did you used to collect or did you used to or did you used to collect and you have different options there, right? Take a look at this one. Used to or used to. Two, two options, right? I think it's the same. Yeah, I don't know why. Used to or used to. <laughs> so it's the same. No, yeah. <laughs> so here, play soccer when you were a child. Did you use to? Actually, this one was supposed to be like, hey, did you used to play soccer when you were a child? That is the correct. Okay, good. So remember to check it because it's part of your, your grade. 
Word order. Let's see what's coming with the word order section. Fewer. Mm -hmm. And scramble the sentences when you choose the best way to write the sentence. Fewer should noise their less because in. What is the best option to order these words and get a sentence? Be Cars. There you be noise and less cars. Fewer cars. The last noise and less noise. Number two. Number two. Okay, so is number two? Are we risk three. Three. three? Number three. Number three. There should be fewer noise and less Number two. Number three. There should be less. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Some people say number two, some others say number three. Well, we're going to choose this one then. Later we can check it, don't worry. And unscramble the sentences then choose the best way to write it or to write the sentence lanes should more we bicycle have we should 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 Bicycle. Have more bicycle lanes. Bicycle. We, we should. Bicycle lanes. We should. We should. Have. 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 We chose more, 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 more bicycles. More, uh, yeah, more, right? Yeah, more, more uh, bicycles. Lane, lane. Lanes. Lanes. That's it? Yes. Okay. So pollution is much there to wear. There is there is pollution. Pollution. There is too much. There is too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Pollution. Hey. No air. Pollution air. Air. No. No. There, there is too much air pollution. There is too much air pollution. Air. Like that? No. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too Uh -huh, there's a pollution. Mm -hmm. And then I, I delete this part, right? Pollution air or air pollution? Air pollution. Okay. Like that, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we finished this part, this section. Okay, Ingrid, Dalila, and they are participating by using the chat. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> the first one, we should have more bicycle lane. We should have more bicycle lane. Good. Second one, pollution is much, is much there too. There is too much air pollution. Good. So whenever you have a question, people, just let me know it. Now we're just working in the in the in the exam in the in the midterm. And we are trying to go deeply with the exercise. Now over here we have indirect questions. Right, indirect questions. That's the first. Example, where is the Empire State Building? Question, do you know where the Empire Building, State Building is? So they are asking us to have some review uh, about indirect questions, but also to provide the sentence. <laughs> Number one, where is the nearest restaurant? Do you know where is the nearest restaurant? Number one. Uh -huh. is, okay. Is, <clears throat> okay, number two, how much? Could you tell me how much newspaper costs? Number three. Number three. Number three. Do you know where? Do you know where the best town is? Down is. Uh -huh. Okay. Number four. What time do the banks close? Can you tell me? Can you tell me what time they close the banks? No. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what time the bank close? First. Can you tell me what time they close the banks? Can you tell me number two? The bank. Close. As in that one. Can you tell three. me what time the banks close? Number number, number one. Number one? Sure. Can you tell me what time the banks close? So it's the second one. Number one. Number one. One. Okay. So let us check. Mm -hmm. So then you have the answer, right? Number two. Number two. Ah, number three, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So number three, number three. Yes, two. Number oh, yes. two. It's number two, right? Do you know where the best bookstore in town is? In is. town is. Look at this one. How much do newspapers cost? Could you tell me how much newspapers cost? Where is the nearest restaurant? Nearest restaurant. Do you know where the nearest you know restaurant where is? The nearest indirect questions. Instruction, right? Indirect questions. Example, where's the impact state building? Indirect, do you know where the impact building is? Yes. Yes. Okay. And that's indirect. There is a reading comprehension over here. So in this part, you are going to read and then you are going to answer. <clears throat> Thank you, Dalila. Okay. okay. 
So let me see, they are live. Okay. Let us spend like 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes to finish this part. So over here, remember, I, I'm asking you to go to get some new words. That's important also. Hello, hello, what happened there? You are reading? You are reading. But I don't know who is Ling or Lem. I don't know. Mm. R E A M. Yes, I lean forward to move the head, lean back to stop or move backward, backward, I don't know. That's lean forward. Oh. Lean, lean forward to move ahead, lean back to stop or move backward. And twist the left handle to turn. So what is lean forward? Oh, sorry, it's lean forward. What is it? What is what is the meaning of this? You can investigate. You can um, open a dictionary, um, get a, an application so that we can we can get the meaning of them quickly. What's lean on lean uh, forward, people? No idea. Como inclinar hacia adelante o mm. o algo así. This no. is less space than a bicycle, okay? And it's easy to operate. Stay, stay on the platform, lean forward to move ahead. And lean back to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, try to look for the meaning of this uh, vocabulary. <laughs> Forward to move 
تحفه Inclinación hacia adelante. All right, that's right. But that is to move ahead. Well, then if we know we if we now ahead. know about lean forward, so we know about lean back. Uh -huh. It's the yeah. opposite. Hacia atrás. Inclinación hacia atrás. Okay. Inclinación hacia atrás. It is the, the opposite, right? And to stop or move backward, what is this? Move backward. Retrocedo. Mm -hmm. Move backward. Twist. Wow. Hit it. Hit it. And twist the left hand of the tongue. To turn to go, okay. And twist, what is twist? Girar. Girar. Where? To the left. left. A la okay. izquierda. Handle to turn, to go, to go faster. What did we say is? Manija. Lean forward. Lean forward, inclinación. Mm -hmm. A little more. Some people compare it to ice skating because it moves too quietly and turns so smoothly. What is it? Smoothly. It's smoothly. Suavemente. Okay. Smoothly. Does it weigh HT weights? Mm -hmm. 32 kilometer, uh, kilograms, sorry. 70 pounds and can fit in the trunk. Okay, um, of most cards. Fully change charging the battery pack for four to six hours allows you to ride as many as 16 kilometers 10 miles. Although it can only hold one passenger or 100 or 200 pounds, the set weight HT is a great way to get around or to events. In most cities, it can go somewhere. People walk, joke, or ride bikes. Let us start with this. Uh -huh. Can somebody help me to, to, to complete the phrase? Number three. Number three. Number two. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Is number is two. the same way. Number two. Is so, harder than riding a motorcycle? Two. Number one is cheaper than buying a car. Cheaper than buying another car. Number one is cheaper than buying a car. Okay, so it's cheaper than buying a car. This new transportation device. There is a transportation device. Number one. Number two. My recharges in four to six hours number four the same way hd 
Goal, goal replace a bicycle. Goal replace a bicycle? Goal replace Yes. Okay, could you place the bicycle? Number three. Uh -huh. This new transportation device weighs 100 to 200 pounds to recharge, recharges in four to six hours, goes to Oh, go 16 miles per hour. Number two. Okay, so number two, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. The same way. Eight, two, number three. So could replace a bicycle. I think this okay. This is an scooter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you got the hundred percent as far as I can see here. Great job. So we're almost done, people. This is the reading section. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see. So actually with that with the review we really finished right over here we people are asking to pro, to provide a, a tense by using present perfect and simple past and right now it's not possible Okay, so what are we going to do, people? In the in this session at the beginning, as you remember, we I talked about about the the listening, right? Let's see if it's possible. Making changes, part A. Listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? <laughs> okay. So hey, what kind of hey, what kind of wishes does Terry have? Number three. Number three. He wishes he could move back in with his parents. No, 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 he wishes he has he his own apartment mm -hmm. and that life uh -huh. wasn't so difficult. Mm -hmm. Number two, what kind of wishes does Brian have? And number three, he wishes he worked somewhere else and lives somewhere more exciting. Okay, pronunciation of the very word. Worked. Uh, now yes, right? Number three, rewrite the following sentences using wish. Number one, 
Laura doesn't have any free time. First, Laura wishes she had some free time. Laura wishes she could have some free time. First, first. Number three. Number three. Laura wishes she could want some free time. Number four, the following sentences using which Dan can't fit into his old jeans. Number two. Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Number two. Okay. Number two. Number two also. No, first. Laura wishes she had some free time. Yeah. Only that? Only that, people? Yes. Okay, let's check it. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. All of them, right? Yeah, but... All of them. Pretty good, excellent. So, well, we still have some minutes more. I wonder if you have questions. Do you have questions, people, about about the, the midterm? No. Not really? No. Not really, okay, so. It's clear, but we need to practice more. You need more practice? Okay, we're gonna work a little then into our listening. So we're gonna listen to it again. This one is the one. Yeah, Tom Grab. So listen, we're gonna have this dictation practice. I think we're go we're gonna be able to finish it. Todo lo que escuchen, escribanlo. Si son oraciones completas. Hay que escribirla si son um, alguna parte que usted que escuchó de la hora de la oración hay que escribirla, ¿ok? De modo que veamos cuánta información podemos copiar de un dictado. Do you finish? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Here we go. Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Yeah. Yes, I come, please. Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Okay, first. We're gonna listen to it at once, and you get what you what you listen to. Lo voy a poner a sonar hasta el final, y cada quien va recogiendo la información del audio. Al final, este, me dicen que es lo que captaron, lo escribieron, y ya luego lo volvemos a escuchar. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. I grew up really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. 
I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Oh, okay. Okay, so did, tell me about the information you got, people. Hello? The first conversation is between Sarah and Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, they speak. No, they. Um, Tom grew up in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And he and his her new neighbor, Sarah. Sarah's uh, new, new neighbor. Sarah's new neighbor. So listen, uh -huh. because of the time, for question de tiempo, se lo voy a dejar de tarea. Todo este fin de semana, necesito que tomen un espacio y lo y saquen el script de esto. Okay, y vean. Todas las uh, expresiones, eh, palabras que uno puede aprender de acá. Y eso va a quedar como tarea. Bueno, voy a pasar la, la asistencia. Ok, Alejandra María. Aristides. Present. Carlos David. Present teacher. Cesar Iván. Present teacher. Claudia Margarita. Present. Concepción. Present. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena. Present teacher. Gabriela. Present teacher. Idalia. Present teacher. Eliana. Present teacher. Okay, Elena is here. Ingrid. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Grisia Morena. Thank you. Liliana. Present. Okay, Liliana is here. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present teacher. Rina. Present teacher. And Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, only two people who didn't get into the class. 
Well, finally, we are at the end of this of the week, right? Remember, tomorrow there are no classes. Hope you can rest a lot, and you can, if you want, you can study something in English, right? Which is a homework that you have daily. Mm -hmm. So I hope that the review about the activities in the in the midterm uh, are. Um, significant for you so that you can you can go you can get back and see the information in the platform and study or develop the an exercise is by by a second time it's up to you okay it's up to you that's why i consider it's it's a tool uh, the, the the platform's a tool that it is useful for solving exercises but when you get into uh when you solve the net you encounter conversations, stories, uh, tales, a lot of info, and uh, that is fantastic. So listen, this coming this coming weekend, um, I hope that you study the info in the platform and remember to bring a, a quote, a quote, a phrase that's interesting to you. Questions? No teaching. No question. Okay, so let us stop over here and let us see the next Monday. God Thank bless you. you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Okay, Thanks. good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. And the weekend. Good night. Have a nice good night. weekend. Thank you. Good night. I'm going to go to